okay, I thought um, I would make a couple more videos before I've gotten to this point, but it's always good to start at this point, so I'm counting down my top five, five, five time signatures, so let's go! My first up at number five will be, uh, it will be a 3-4 measure, because 3-4 is, you know, it's nice, but it's not, it's not, it's not in the top three. It's in the top five, though. 3-4 measure, and, uh, you know, 3-4 is always great. I mean, when you're going from, uh, you know, you're going from a time signature change from a 4-4 four, four to 3-4 back to a 4-4, four, four, maybe to a 2-4 or something like that, a 3-4 measure is always good, especially for transitional measures, too, and, you know, yeah, great, you know. And also at number four, also for a also a good time for a transitional measure is a two four bar, um, which can be also cut time uh, if you think about it, or maybe a one two bar, <laughs> two four bar. You know, great. Two four bars are great for transitional measures, just like the three four bar. But you know, they're not in my top three yet. So let's get to the top three. My number three pick would be Common Time four four, which is basically what all rock and roll is in except rush because rush is different i guess <laughs> yeah so rush is different and you know well okay okay most rock is in 4-4 common time most pieces most scores most of everything is in 4-4 common time but is that number is that number three don't get too antsy. Number three. Number two, I would have to say, I would have to say 12-8 on this one because 12-8 is just, 12-8 is a nice loose feel. Um, you know, it's a nice triplet feel too. I, I really like it. It's good for warm-ups. It's good for, you know, your nice triplet loose, loosey-goosey feel, um, especially on drum set. Uh, when you're on set, I mean, that 12-8. That 12-8 feel is just always good, that triplet feel. And also that goes with 6-8, so I guess 12-8 and 6-8 kind of tie because they're all they're they're both in triplet feels. And I guess you could say the same for 9-8. Um So you know. And my number one pick would be 7-8, because 7-8 is kind of a it's kind of an odd time for most people, but once you get used to it, it gets really fun. And uh 7-8, you know, I've gotten used to it in the past you know, year and a half, seven eight's always great. I had a snare solo in seven eight, an ensemble in seven eight, a couple warm ups in seven eight. So you know, seven eight's always a fun time signature to play with, and uh, once you get used to it, um, it's always it's it's good it's a good time signature once you get used to it. But at first, it seems kind of like one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven, and it's kind of like it's really weird, it's really odd feel. But um, once you get used to it. It's all good, and it's really good for uh, just pieces in general. Just if you do a whole score in seven eight, it's really fun to play with and dabble with these really interesting offbeat time signatures. So yeah, so that was my top five time signatures. And also, uh, if you didn't notice, I did not start last week. I said I was going to start last week with my Sunday and Wednesday uploads to the Black Hat Brothers page, but I did not start last week. I'm starting this week, so I'm sorry about that. And uh, yeah, so I'll be back up on Wednesday too. So Sunday and Wednesdays. Or Dave Days, and don't forget your Schmidt Sunday post. I gotta post my Schmidt Sunday post on the Instagram. So, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the time signature countdown video, please leave a like. Good night.